What's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about 10 tips to improve your game sense in Rainbow Six Siege. So basically today we're going to go through a couple clips and talking about what went right, what went wrong, how I knew the cues of like, you know, when to make the play and why the plays worked in the first place. So let's go through all that today and more. Let's get it. Tip number one, be aware of your surroundings. So you're holding a site. If you have teammates watching the wall, don't be afraid to turn around and watch the back because you never know who you're going to catch off guard. Like so, you catch them completely off guard, had nothing to do with aim. That was just all game sensitive game ability. But then I see a teammate go down, so then I rotate down. And I know that the wall is fully reinforced at this point, so there's only two lines of entry at this point, right? There is the staircase behind me, which I have a camera. I asked the teammate, hey, can we get on that camera? Someone replied, yep, I'm on that camera above me. So they're on the camera behind watching that staircase and I'm gonna watch the other staircase. So now I have all entries covered. And we just wrote swing out a little bit. Find one through the wall with the feet holes. You see another one, take him out as well. Nothing too crazy there. And then I'm called that uh, there is one coming down my scuba staircase and we just wait. I've crossed our placement ready for a headshot. If he, if he peeks me, I can take it out. Or if he swings past, I can just follow, I can swing out a little bit wide and take him out, which we're gonna see right now. Like that. Tip number two, when you have calls, play off them aggressively and don't just let the enemy just walk around the site. So here, let's listen. One breach right side. I hear one breach right side. All the way right. All the way right, trust the call. If your teammate lets you down on the call, I mean, It'll happen sometimes, but you're better off trusting teammates than not. I hear in master behind master bed. So he's probably behind the red box in the middle of sight. Might be trying to go for a plant, but I have the fuser. So I know my mozzie is probably about to engage him. So I'm going to be aggressive here to help the, the mozzie bed, out. The to catch him off. I see mozzie is downstairs now. So I know that I'm kind of alone. I hear these outside the breach. He drops off. I see it's a Cali after that peak. And now I'm like, okay, now I got to play safe, play smart, and just wait for him to actually have to plant here. Cali's just going to be holding angles because they still have a minute left. He pushes in. We see off that, off those shots. And you just your cross her up and take him out. Tip number three, always pay attention to the flanks. Even if you were the one that initially was entry, Sometimes you have to turn around and just watch the flank because a lot of teammates aren't going to do that. Find a kill there, just watching the flank. Now here, I know the flank was covered and I know that we're trying to push into sight. So that throw grenade down, I'm still being wary of the flank. Trying to help them clear anyone that might be bottom red. I see someone throwing impact here. So let's talk about what I'm about to do here. So I know when Thor is throwing an impact, he's not really ready for me to hop down on top of him because, you know, he's not expecting that. He's he's more focused on the guys in server, which is why he threw the impact in the first place. The guys from red, it's going to be it's going to be kind of hard for them to really deal with this hatch drop because most of the, most of them are probably going to be focused on the server guys because the server guys are pressured pretty hard. So I'm going to go after the garage guy and we're going to turn on the red guys. I had no time to even react here. And then instead of going for red guys, I go all the way through. We find another guy off guard. Plant's not down, but we're in a good spot to cover. Boom. Killing three guys before either of them, any of them actually, sorry, either of them applies two, that was three, or they had any time to really do anything. Just catching them off guard and then pushing through that side that was off guard. Because let's think about it. When the Valkyrie dies, He's like, oh, you know, drop touch. And, but like that call is only going to be so effective. Tip number four, you're going to see a lot of shots here and a lot of uh, early aggression, but uh, this is all really simple and easy to explain. So let's talk about this. So we see that that door is castled just off a glance. So we know that they probably have head holes in the master wall or someone's going to be playing trophy more than likely. So as I turn this corner, I'm having my gun up ready for that firefight. We see him already coming out. My cross placement is pretty good. I'm not going to have to swing up too far to actually deal with this guy. You find him. 
push on through. I know, again, like, like we talked about, after we get that first kill, you push on through to see if you can catch another one off guard. Another one swings out, completely unready for this firefight. And look at my crosser placement. I'm not gonna have to move it very far compared to what he's aiming at. He's aiming already at the right side of the door. Take him out. And that's two teammates that were holding trophy. So now I know that there's going to be a guy either to my, I, I assume there's not one to the left because castle was just there. So I assume there's either gonna be one top white or one in attic. So I'm gonna go after the attic guy because once I swing into attic, the guy top white won't be able to kill me anyways. We take him out. Cross replacement was a little scuffed there, but like we were playing aggressive. And again, the souls came out completely unready for this firefight. And even right here, you can see my cross replacement is ready for that headshot. And again, we look for the top white guy coming in. That's all she wrote. Tip number five, holding off angles to throw off your opponent's aim. So here, I'm in an interesting little spot. This isn't like a super complex angle and a lot of people are going to check this, but it is not a normal thing to peek, but it is normal to be downstairs in master to throw grenades up and just clear out roamers. So again, we just take out the jackal just like that. Jackal, no, too not too hard there. No, no real crazy aim there. And here, is a one way. So he's gonna have to be really close to the staircase to really see me. I get to see his lower body and you you know that he can't see me at all. So he had no way of really killing me there. Couldn't react. You go that back downstairs because more of them keep coming down. And I mean, we just thought um, heard of that guy, but cross our placement, always be ready for a gunfight. I, I will see a lot of newer players walk into rooms with their guns down. Always be ready for a gunfight. If you're walking into a room, especially into the unknown. Take him out. We got another one. So going up the staircase. I'm not exactly sure where this guy is on the staircase. And with defender weapons, ADS speed is pretty fast. So I figured if he's on the staircase or to my right, I'll be able to ADS in time to be able to react here. We see him clear as day. You can tell that he's not really looking at me. He's looking at the top of the staircase. I'm ready to deal with him. And early aggression, we were aggressed because a teammate was shooting at him from delivery from the, uh, sorry, from the reception door to the left. So I get aggressive here because he's ready for the Aruni. He's not ready for the warden. Always try to swing when the enemy is focused on somebody else and you're gonna get a lot more kills and die a lot less. Tip number six, it's better to use your utility than to die with your utility in your pocket. So here I hear an aqua run out, which is the, the balcony yeah, up no, top. No, to be honest, I didn't have to do anything because Gotcha was literally slamming them like on their neck. So I, here I'm going to see if I can get another I grenade kill. Toss it up, responded. he runs out oh! and we hit him with it. I mean, you can tell my face. So I wasn't really expected to get the kill there, but a lot of times in Siege, if you know someone is going for a run out like that, don't be afraid to use utility or just have your gun up at where the runout is going to be. Because a lot of the times those runouts really only kill people that aren't ready for the fights. Have your drone close to your entry point, like here, like you're going to see. I mean, I, I, you, I had a drone outside office door ready to drone myself into office. So I knew that he was coming in through that aqua door because it was already tapped. It was already open. I heard that on my drone, so I was able to just, you know, hit him with a grenade. If I miss that grenade, no harm, no foul. I'll still have one grenade in my pocket. It is a pretty EDM map, you know, so it wouldn't have mattered if I missed the grenade anyways, but I didn't miss the grenade and we got a kill instead. Tip number seven is play for trades. If you see your team being aggressive, play off of them. Ace comes in completely looking at the guy at blue door. We get the easiest kill of our lives because he's fully exposed and uh, get a free kill. The one pushes out and uh, little Yardy takes him out. I swing out while he's fighting Yardy at blue, but he kills Yardy, but I do get the trade there. Not much that guy can do there. Teammate takes out an, an, uh, another teammate dies, but it is a 2v1. 
I pre-fire the spot where his head's going to be. Look, this has really nothing to do with aim and just more about crosshair placement. Crosshair placement is game sense. I pre-fire before he even comes around the corner. You, you could see that I'm ready for him to come back around because what most enemies are going to do, he just got a kill by the connector door. So he's going to swing back to the opposite side to see if anyone was pushing him. So I knew that was going to happen. So I pre-fired it. Tip number eight. Do not be afraid to pre-fire. If you feel like there's an enemy nearby or in a potential angle that you're about to peek, don't be afraid to take a couple shots at them. All it takes is one clean shot to really take them out, especially if a DMR is only going to take like two. So I hear somebody. My cross replacement was good. I heard him to the right. We down him with the DMR. Push in. Down goes Benja. Flank camp set. That I need a flank camp for my dead teammates. Oh, but even though I had my flank cam up, you saw that I was about to walk down that staircase. I didn't quite know if anything else was clear. I set a flank cam just now. So I checked this side just, just in case. You never know if someone's going to be on this angle as you walk down the staircase. And I got really lucky that you know someone was and he had no idea I was there. Take down, take him out. I come down, I hear someone run out of the trench door down goes doki so teammates going to drone so what i'm going to do i'm not going to walk inside here i am just going to take some pot shots at pillar just in case the guy does peek this and we do take him out tip number nine when you're holding a position don't be afraid to pre-fire out as you peek so here i'm holding top red i pre-fire and we end up finding the headshot here one walking up red. So again, I'm going to, as I swing, I'm going to pre-fire the entire time I peek this. Take him out completely. So now here I'm being aggressive on the breach because I know there's another enemy on the breach. It's a vaulting rotate. So I assume that he is going to be standing on the breach. So I'm going to pre-fire that again. And we do take him out. And uh, I see bolts come out. So I swing out with my teammate. And we both take him out. Finally, here's tip number 10 is do not be afraid to be aggressive, especially when you dance on a man count. Because a lot of times I'll see people that'll just curl up into a ball into a fetal position while the enemy surrounds them. Don't do that. Get active. The other team is going to be a lot more aggressive knowing that you guys are probably going to be passive. So do not be passive. Be aggressive and find your picks. Take down Lion. 3 4 I impact out. I walk in, I see an enemy droning, no idea. Montaigne playing cat and mouse with me. You know, the cat, taking on the Montaigne, he tries to go for the Montaigne drop shot. I have no ammo on my gun. I swap to the pistol instead. We take him out. So right there, the enemy used his entire mag pre-firing me. He does not have any ammo left. So that means he's literally either going to A, be behind cover, or B, going to be reloading out in the open. We take him out. I throw an impact to the right so I can walk to the left. He's going to think that I'm coming from that rotate. So he's going to he is going to glance at it, and it's going to mask my audio. That's a huge thing. It's masking my audio as I walk down the hallway. He's not even looking at the hallway. And we take him out. All right, that brings us to the end. Just remember, Rainbow Six Siege is a game that's been out for like eight years now. It takes a long time to learn, and game sense is something that cannot be rushed. You can get decent aim, but being able to make the right decision in the right moments is a thing that is very hard to do, and it takes a lot of time to learn. So don't be too hard on yourself. Just every time you die, ask yourself, did I make the right play? All right, guys, that's it for today. Make sure to subscribe, drop a comment, and leave a like down below for more. Until next time.